What's up guys, Scott Protagonist here, and today I'll be doing a product review on the brand new Impact Triple Punisher deck. This product contains 3 Gaga decks, and that's a lot of Gagas, so it is a must get for all you Gaga lovers out there. Personally, I'm a huge fan of Gaga Dragon and his many forms, and there are tons of powerful upgrades in this deck, so as a competitive player, I'm really excited for this set. This is also the perfect time for you and your friends who are new to Buddy Fight to hop onto the game, as the set is perfect for 2 players. There's a huge 2 player player mat, and there's live counters, so grab a friend and dive right into the world of Buddy Fight. Man, I can't wait, so let's get started. The English version of the Triple Punisher also comes with a beautiful storage box which is able to hold up to 3 deck boxes, so it's perfect for keeping your decks organised. And not to mention, the artwork of the storage box is absolutely stunning. It has multiple forms of Gaga on it, how awesome is that? So let's take a second to admire its design. You got the 3 wolf legs. It also comes with the cutlets on the back so you know what you're getting. A Dragon World deck, a Katana World deck, and a Magic World deck all in one. Awesome. So with the power of my blade, I will summon Gagar. Be careful because you don't want to damage this beautiful storage box, which obviously I'll be using. Right. So once the plastic is off, you have a very awesome storage box, which you can keep your deck boxes. Right. What's inside? So first, we have a huge playmat, great for playing with your friends. Personally, as a YouTuber, it is an awesome playmat for recording sweet buddy fights. And also some tips on how to play the deck at the back. So for those of you who are new to buddy fight, this is very very useful because it helps you, uh, it gives you the winning image of each deck. Now you guys can read up yourself. And we have two life counters, this screams play with a friend. An amazing product to play buddy fight right off the bat. <gasps> What's this mysterious artifact? Could this be the legendary Gargantra Sword? I shall praise it with my magical spell. It's a Gargantuan Balloon, huh? Neat. I guess whoever loses to the Punisher Impact shall feel the wrath of the Balloon Punisher. <laughs> so, kinda, um, it's a very cute Punisher. I guess it's harmless fun. The loser gets the death penalty of the Punisher. Really cool. Gotta put this one side. And most importantly, we get three awesome decks in one. The Dragon World deck, the Katana World deck, and the Magic World deck. So, let's start with the world where it all began. The Dragon World Trial deck. So first, we get one copy of Gargantua Dragon Tempest Mode. So this is a buddy rare, a really really beautiful one. I really like the stripes on it and its golden form. It really gives loyalty to the card. So it's called cost, put the top card of the deck into his soul and pay 2 gauge. So it costs 2 gauge to call if you do not use G Evo. By, by the way, most of G Evo abilities do not use gauge or you do not need pay the call cost. So it's really good. So in case you don't have your G Evos, you can always call it as a normal monster. When this card enters by the effect of G Evo for this turn, it gains plus 1 crit. Then, if your card attacks 3 times or more this turn, it gains additional crit. So it's a 4 critical triple attacker. Really, really powerful. It has penetrate triple attack. So even if you do not call it by G Evo, it's still a 3 crit penetrator with triple attack. It's still a powerful unit. I definitely will give it a go in the deck because it is a very, very powerful card. So that's the first card in the deck. So we have one copy of Daybreak Raw Gargantua Dragon. This is a brand new Gargantua Dragon that you can use now. This is actually one of my favorites. Firstly, the art, it looks so epic. Just check it out. It's like it's roaring. That's why it's called Daybreak Raw. Uh, you may use this card off leg. So note to all, play all your players, you can use Gaga in any deck. So you can actually use it in your Magic World deck or your Katana World deck. Really useful. Call cost, pay on gauge and put a token of deck in soul. So you get soul guard, you don't get destroyed so easily. When it's cut attacks and you have another DD Dragon Tribe, so it could be Gardog, Gar Cat, any of your friends, you can draw one additional card. Really good because if you're not ending the game at turn, you could possibly draw a Dragon Shield. G Evo, at the end of the battle, you can cop to one Dragon Monster from your hand onto this card without paying its call cost. So you basically, you could just call Tempest Mode on top. And yeah, you can attack and get additional triple attack. So it is uh, very likely you push for game as well. Yes, move and soul guard. So yeah, the soul guard, the move at least is so very useful because you can help you move and protect your center, especially during his opponent's turn. Uh, one return mode, pay two gauge and put the top card of the deck in the soul. So it has soul guard as well. When this counters a few, look, check the top three cards of the deck, put one DDT monster among them to your hand. And if he enters by G Evo, put a card among, among them to your hand. So you can actually add dragon shields and more auto good stuff but but for the first ability you definitely need to add a monster so yeah either way it's still a very good card especially not ending that turn you could just g evo on top get a plus two because uh, potentially you're getting two cards of his ability yes move so you can protect your life points as well and so they can finish off the opponent's turn the next turn as well yo what's this oh my god look at it sp form 
Oh, this is sick. Okay, this is amazing. Uh, right now, we only have a rare and a secret pack. Ooh, the SP border is amazing. It goes really well with my Gargantua Dragon. More Tempest Mode. Oh, so uh, Tempest Mode is four copies because you play as buddy. You play the one buddy rare as a buddy. Cool. Four copies of Gargantua Dragon original form. Your original form of secret pack is now reprinted as a rare. Now, reprinted as common in this deck. So, really good. Um, so, getting this deck, you're pretty much getting the whole package. Really, really good. So, two more copies of Daybreak. Right now, we have three Daybreaks and four Gagas. Awesome. Two copies of Return Mode for that stalling. Now, two copies of Strom Guard Dragon. So, call cost, pay on gauge, and put a token of deck. So, when this card attacks, if your life is five or more, for this turn, this card gains what crit and double attack. So, it's a double attacker size two. It's move and so guard. In case you don't join the Gagas, he's still a good backup because he, he can tank for you. Three, four copies of Gale Gadra. Double attacker if you have an item equipped. Pretty nice. It's really good as removal because it's double attack and 7k attack power. So, you can basically wipe your opponent's bot. Two copies of the ta Tayaki is the best, Garcat. So, yeah, I really like Tayaki. It's basically like Japanese pancakes with uh, red bean filling. Very nice. So, Garcat's ability. When you gain life, put the top card of the deck into the gauge and you gain one life. Then, if you have a dragon on a few draw a card, you can only activate its ability once per turn. So, now uh, one tip you body call it, you gain one life by its body call ability, you can gain another life, charge one gauge, and draw one card. So, personally, I think this is a fantastic body as well. If you like, if you guys like Garcat, uh, this is a chance to body it. Two copies of Gardok in the Sunlight Forest. Really adorable. Look at the butterflies in those. Oh my god, so cute. Uh, Gardok is my favorite, actually. When this card attacks, if you have another DDT on a few, you can gain two life. So yeah, now gaining life do helps a bit in the deck. Because um, from, it, from what I see, I can see that DDT right now focuses a lot of healing. So yeah, he gains two life. It's pretty nice. And two copies of the Lazy Garbert. Garbert taking it easy. He has counter ability. If a drug on a few, you can call this card from your hand. It's kind of like um, emergency shield. Just in case your opponent clears the center already, you can call the Garbert to the center so you can protect your life. When this card is destroyed, you can charge one gauge and gain one life. Very nice. So basically, it's kind of like a pseudo shield. And it's a monster just in case you need attack as well. Two copies. Ah, look at this. Adorable Gar Ostrich. Two copies of Gar Ostrich. It's a size zero. At the end of the battle of this card, you may put this from the field to drop zone, destroy it, and you gain two life. If you, go, you can go for the so-called triple Gar formation, which is like size one, size two, size zero, and center. So after it dies, you can just break it off and gain two life for free. After that, you can attack your weapon as well. So, yep, I think it's pretty okay. It's a pretty good card. It's all right in the deck. Especially for extra attacks, extra one crit, and the gain life gain. And for now, we have the spells. Um, the spells are really, really good in this deck. The spells, we have two copies of Gar Run Up. Choose and use one of the following two abilities. You can only cast this card once per turn. Charge two gauge, or put a DDT monster from drop zone into your hand and gain one life. So, really good because you, um, let's say you want to fetch back a uh, Dragot. Or your any of your tiny monsters, you can always use this Gar Run Up and fetch it back. Uh, pretty nice card, and I love the art. It's Gardok and Yuga. Two copies of Gar High Ring. It looks the art is so nice in this one. This is a really unique art. I believe this is the first time this artist drew. It might be, but, but oh my god, the art is amazing. Uh, you gain one life for each DDT on a field, so you potentially can easily gain three. And if you have Dragon, you can draw a card. So basically, you are gaining three life for free. You may only cast Gar Rising once per turn. So yeah, two copies is fine in the deck because he just gives you free life. Two copy of Gar Surgeon. Gar Surgeon is one card that I've been looking for in this trial deck. You may only cast this card if you attack card attack three times. This is very similar to one of Gar's cards, isn't it? But excellent. Exactly, it's a counter ability. You can gain two life and draw two cards. Wow, basically is the check three to add one, but this is gain two to draw two cards. So yeah, personally I really like more pluses. So this card might actually replace Bat Sling. Interestingly, you can play this in other Dragon Ball decks as well. So this card is definitely a value card. Now, two copies of Fighting Emperor Dragon Shield. One of the best shields right now. You may cut this card with DDT on a few. Counter, 95 the attack, and you have a Dragon on a few. Charge two gauge and gain two life. So yeah, uh, this is one of the be best shields for Gaga right now. Because you gain two life and charge two gauge. That's like Super Dragon dragon and Blue Shield combined. Now we have DDT Green Dragon Shield. Whenever 95 attack, you gain three life. You must have a DDT on the board. Four copies. Ultimate Defense. Now for weapons, we have two copies of Twin Swords, Guy and Sum. So equip one gauge. When it, when you gain life for this turn, it gives double attack and two critical. So it's a three crit double attack weapon. Pretty cool. Um, especially when this deck gains a lot of life easily. The main weapon we have is actually four copies of DT Dragon Sword, Guy Cutlass. Uh, it could cost one gauge when this card attacks standard size one or less DDT on a few. Uh, really good because we do have a lot of cards that has on attack abilities like Gardok when it attacks against extra life. So yeah, it's not too bad I say for a trial deck weapon. 
And for the impact with the brand new Goblin Blast, you may cast this card if your opponent's life is 5 or less and your card attack 3 times more. It's kinda like Tempest X Buster, but you have to have a drag on the field. That's 2 gauge for 5, really easy to fulfill in this deck because we have a lot of gauge adders as well. They have really improved the art of the impacts nowadays. And finally, we have brand new Yuga Dragon Ball Flag as an alternate art. A DT Dragon's Brigade Descends Luminize Draw Deity. Very nice. So yeah, well, one copy of the promo flag and this one awesome Dragon World deck in your hands. Now let's check out Katana World. Katana is one of the coolest guard forms. I mean, who doesn't like a Shadow Stealth Ninja? So first off, we have one copy of Gaganja Jiraiya Dragon. Wow, this art is so sick. I mean, check it out. It's like riding a dragon frog. Uh, Kokos, put a card in the drop zone into the soul and pay two gauge. Uh, one tip, always add Gaganja Dragon if it's in a drop zone to a soul because you get actually uh, immediately gets his G Evo ability. 626. This is a, be a number you'll see very often in this deck. When this card enters the field, you may pay one gauge. If you do, put up to two cards from the top of the deck down in, as a Dragon. So basically, it spawns two tokens, two Shadow Clone Jutsu, and it gains 6k attack, 6k defense, and two critical as monsters. If this card has a Soul of G Evo, all monsters on the field gain a 3k and one additional critical. If you're using this as an upgrade, the previous weapon gives all card monsters on the field one additional crit. So with this, you're stacking lots of crits, easily get a 4 crit per attack. It's really, really crazy, and it's move ability, so it's really, really tanky as well. Really like this card, because it has a lot of utility, and gives you lots of pluses on entering the field. So one copy. So right now, we have one copy of Gargantua Kirikakure Dragon. The art is so good, oh my god, like this is insane. Ooh, look at this whirlwind, uh, whirlwind arts. So Kokos, pay 2 gauge and put a token out of the deck in so, so it's uh, slightly different. When this card is a few, you can pull up to one ninja arts from the deck into your hand and shuffle your deck. Really, really good. First thing is you can add any ninja art, including an impact, because it doesn't state item, spell, or monster. So you can add any ninja art. You're not wrong, secret swords are all ninja arts. Then if you enter by a G Evo, you can gain two life and deal two damage to your opponent. So um, chipping off some of your opponent's life points, really good. Yes, move and soul guard ability, really good early game because it allows you to fetch any ninja arts you want into your hand. Oh my god, look at this SP Shin Gargantua Punisher Katana version. This is this is awesome. Oh my god, this is so good. I re um I really love the original art of this already because the Gaga standing behind this is totally badass. But right now we have a SP version, it's the golden border. This looks totally awesome. You may only cast this card if your opponent's life is at 5 and you have Dragon Monster on your field. And the total power of the card's field is 12k or greater. So with Shadow Clone Jutsu, that number is easily reached. Cards cost 2 gauge, so it's 2 gauge of 5 damage, can be 95 or reduce. An excellent impact in my opinion. So it's 1 copy. You can get the rest of them uh, as a rare in the in the SBT-02. So we have 4 copies of Jiraiya Dragon. Uh, as you can as you can see, use the buddy as the buddy. Buddy rare as the buddy. 4 copies of Gargantua Dragon, wow that's another 4 copies of Gargantua Dragon, like man this is like Christmas, so many Gargantua Dragons. Gargantua Dragon is a really sought after card, especially in SBT-01, so I'm really glad it's getting reprinted. 3 copies of Daybreak, Kyukakuri is 2 copies, uh, very neat, uh, obviously it's not really a finisher but it's a very, very powerful utility card because it allows you to fetch any of any spells in the deck. 2 copies of Ning Nimbird, uh, this is really, really cute. You may cause you may only call this card once per turn. I wonder why. Let's read more. When a dragon monster enters a field, you can drop a hand card. If you do, gain two life and look check the top three cards of the deck. Put one of them among them into your hand and the rest at the bottom of the deck. So it's kinda like a uh, Dare Barak, which allows you to fetch cards from the top of the deck into your hand. Really good because it helps improve the consistency of the deck. So I can understand why this only can be caught once per turn. Because you can actually do a weird loop with it. If you're not wrong, if it's even if it's ability is one button, because you can actually use the card which is like uh, out of getting fish, get it back and just you know do some really really crazy stuff in the deck. So two copies, nonetheless it's a very very powerful card. Flash of Momiji, Ninkat. When this card attacks, you can add two ninjas from different names in your drop zone and discard one card from your hand if you do add those cards to your hand. You can even play it in normal ninjas because they have a ninja attribute as well. So yeah, it's pretty nice as because it allows you to fetch back some cards, basically giving you a plus one when it attacks. Now Battle Dog Under the Moon Nin Dog. When this card enters a few, put the top card of the deck for each DDT monster on your field. So if you have a, another Nin Cat on the field, for example, you call it, you instantly get two gauge. If you have three cards, you can get three gauge. It's a pretty good gauge accelerator. Now, some new stuff, DDT Dragon Ninja Musashi. So it's a shadow dive with three critical. Uh, if your dragon on the field gets additional two crit, so yeah, huge damage, pretty cool. Oh, look at these. These are cute. I remember seeing these uh, reviews in Malaysia WGP. This one especially. 
This is cute. When this character's field choose a Dragon Monster drop zone, you can discard a card and add it back to your hand. So yeah, Gaga never dies because Golden Thing has come to has come to save it. And it's cute friend, I guess. When this card is discarded from your hand, you can charge one gauge and gain one life. So yeah, I guess you could combo with a lot of cards in the deck because a lot of cards in the deck requires you to destruct discard even its uh, its golden version. At the end of this battle of this card, you can return it back to your hand. So you go to the Gao Triple Formation, attack, bounce back to hand. Uh, yeah, I like it because it's like a boomerang dragon, deals extra on crit. You bounce back to your hand, you can Shadow Clone Jutsu with your OG Kaga. So yeah, it's good stuff. Two copies of Futon. This card is everyone's dream. Basically, it allows you to charge and draw whenever it's discarded. <laughs> really good against the God Punks because God Punks discard a lot of your hand cards. Discard this, basically you do not get any losses. He has another ability as well, put a ninja monster from a drop zone to your hand. So you have a uh, ninja gaga in drop zone, you can fetch it back to your hand. The spells in this the spells in this decks are really really insane. That's why I really recommend you at least pick up one, even if you already have a deck. This is just such a good support for all the gagas. Um Ninja is hiding the fallen leaves. Wow, so cute. So when this card is dropped by hand on card effects, you gain one life and draw a card. So basically when this card is discarded by your mount effect even by god punks you can draw one card to replace the card discarded and gain one life which is nice also it will now be a dead card because it has a counter ability gain three life give you more survivability which is key in body fight two copies of gale blade counter return a size to a less monster or spell from your opponent's field to hand wow this is awesome this is a great card off the bat it's a good card it has a second ability which is even more insane and it gives counter to a lot of meta decks right now when this card is dropped from your hand by card effects, choose a card on your opponent's view, note a card, and you may pay one life, you do return that card to the hand. Guess what cards get wrecked instantly by this? Amaterasu. It cannot be destroyed, but once you bounce them back to your hand, your opponent's hand, they basically have an empty field and you can swing them for face for game. So this is a very powerful card. I'm definitely adding this in and citing some. Now combat ration is Garice. <laughs> really cute art with Gaga and the Hedgehog. You may cast this card if you have a Dragon Monster on the field and total field power is uh, 12k or greater. Really easy because we have a lot of power gain, a lot of Shadow Clone Jutsu. Counter draw two cards. Really, really simple. It's basically a nice one for Gaga. Now, as if Katawa does not need any more draw power. More draw power. Awesome. So, check out the brand new negate for Ninja Gaga. You may only cast this card if you have a DD Heat on the field. Nullify the attack and you may discard one card. If you do, charge two gauge and draw one card. Really good because it allows you to cycle cards from your hand. And with a lot of cards that has benefits when you discard it, this is a very, very useful card. So, we have four copies of this negate. And let's go on to weapons. DD Dragon Wrist Guard Guard Claw. Pay one gauge one life if you drag on a few. All monsters on a few cannot be destroyed by moving cards effect. It has double attack, so it's a two crit, two crit, four damage. Really good. Two copies. And DT Dragon Kodachi Gas Subaki. So pay one gauge is counter ability. When you are being attacked, you can discard one card. If you do, for instance, the next damage taken is reduced by three. So you can discard a lot of those cards to gain pluses. And of course, protect yourself. So yeah, very nice. It basically gives you a free shield every single turn. Damage. So even it, I guess it works against certain impacts as well. It's pretty good. Four copies of your weapons. Now let's go on to the impact. DT Dragon Ninja Arts Multi Blade Whirlwind. You may only cast this card if your opponent's 5 life or less and you have Dragon on a few. Pay to gauge, deal damage to your opponent equal to the number of monsters with 6k or greater power and plus 2 critical. So, for example, let's say you have 2 monsters with uh, 7k attack power, you will basically do 4 damage because you have 2 monsters plus 2. So that's 4 damage. I can say that this is uh, easy 4 to 5 damage with 2 gauge. Pretty worth it. It's still good. But otherwise, you can also use the Punisher given, the SP Punisher given, which is awesome. So let's check out the brand new Katana World Flag by Yuga. Really, really cool. A DT Dragon's Ninja Troopers at your back and call, Lumina's Dra Ninja. So I guess this deck is called Dra Ninja. Really love this um, flag. Gonna use it in my Ninja Gaga deck. All right, this one I am really excited. Magic World Gaga. That's like totally aces. <laughs> Jokes aside, this is the newest form of Gaga. They have a Fire Mage. An Ice Mage and a Blade Mage coming soon. I really like the insane draw power of Magic World and I can't wait to play with this. So what this deck has, let's check it out. So first off, we have one copy of Flare Mage, which is the Fire Mage. I really like how uh, you can play with elements in this deck. Uh, this is the aggressive version. So uh, Body Rare is really, really nice as well. I really like the orange Body Rare. If I'm not wrong, this is the first time there's an orange Body Rare. There might be another, but um, yeah. So yeah, leave a comment down below with some orange Body Rares that you guys probably have. 
Alright, so you have 7 2 6 stats. Korkos put a card from drop zone into soul and pay 2 gauge, so you can put G Evos in soul. Very useful. When this card attacks, you may put a spell from a drop zone to the bottom of the deck. If you do, this card gains double attack. So even if you don't have G Evo in the soul, you'll get a basic double attacker. Really cool. But if this card has a G Evo in the soul, it gets quadruple attack. Woohoo! This ability can be activated once per turn. This bad boy attacks four times. Oh my god, this is like the most aggressive Gaga. We have move and show guard, so you'll be able to tank as well. So it's a well balanced card. So one copy of Flare Mage. So let's go to Ice Mage. I predict this is gonna be very defensive because like in any video game, the Ice Mage is usually one for tanking. So core cost, pay two gauge and put Tokar deck into so when this card enters a few gain two life. And then it enters by Jivo, gain three life and draw a card. Wow, you gain 5 lives, it's similar to the Battle Buildings Ibo Academy, and you draw 1 card, so it's indeed for tanking, give you a lot of survivability, 5 lives is no joke, it has the move ability to help you tank as well, really really useful. So here's one copy of Ice Mage. Oh my goodness, ooh this art is so good! Alright, so you may cast this card if you have a spell during your turn and your opponent has 5 or less. Okay, let's just see am I the art first. Um, but this is an SP form, I believe this will be in the secret pack as well. But wow, this is like a sneak preview to the, the next set. The SP art is so good, oh my goodness. It's a, like a full art with a golden border. So the ability is you can only cast a card if you're... If you cast a spell recent and opponent is 5 life or less and you have a dragon monster on a few, pay to give you deal 5 damage. Really, really easy. This deck is full of spells and you'll be able to slash out an opponent's life with 2 gauge. Amazing card. Now let's go on to Flamage. Uh, we have 4 copies as usual. Buddy as a buddy rare as a buddy. And you use these as your buddies. Uh, 4 copies of Gargantua Dragon, basic form of extra offense. 3 copies of Daybreak because uh, extra defense and draw extra cards to your hand. Now, some brand new cards, Sorcery Deity Dragon, Bilbaros. So it's a magic bow monster, which is not a Gaga. A pay on gauge and put the Tokar deck in. So when it casts a spell, you can gain one life. And for instance, this card gains penetrate and counter attack. This ability only activates once per turn. So during your opponent's turn, you can cast spells and it gains counter attack. When your opponent monsters try to beat it, you will get counter attack and destroyed. So it gives you a bit of control. It gives you it has move, double attack, and soul guard. So it instantly has a move and double penetrate. So in case you don't join your Gaga, this guy is a pretty good backup. So we have three, total of 3 copies of Ice Mage for extra tankiness. 2 copies of Magic Cat, Hit Magic. Uh, when you cast a spell, you can charge 2 gauge, really nice. We have a Dragon on a few, all DT Dragon Trap on a few gains as 2k attack power. So yeah, it helps you push through some uh, big walls like a Tora. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I guess sometimes if you do need do need the extra power, you can call it with a few. So 2 copies of Magi Cat. Now we have Magi Dogu, Transmitter Magic. You may only count once wait, once per turn. Oh, so this is the broken card of the set. Uh, when this card is filled, you may discard a DDT from your hand. If you do, put the top card of the deck into a gauge and draw two cards. Wow, that's an instant plus 1.5 because you draw an extra card and you get one you gain an extra gauge. Uh yeah, so two copies. Mm, I will definitely play more than that because this is a very, very good card. And I like the art. Look at this cutie. Yes, two copies. Alright, now we have two copies of the lazy magic bird. Uh synthesis failed. When this card attacks, you may pull a card from your drop zone into your soul of a monster. If you, if you don't draw a card, wow, okay, this is a, actually a pretty damn good card. Because uh, firstly, you can make your Ice Mage and your Fire Mage more tanky, so you can tank more damage because they have move ability, more soul card, you can survive more attacks. And you can draw extra cards. So I, um, as a size one, I, I actually want, I will actually use this to attack most of the time because he has actually a, a pretty good skill. Now for other size ones that is not in the Gar family, Sorcery DD Tribe Vantage. When this card enters the field, gain one life and with another DDT on the field, bounce back one monster opponent's field to hand. Really useful, especially against Chaos, that's one of their weakness. They can't be destroyed, but they can be bounced back. Now, many other decks also has the... It's actually a good counter to any the other guy decks as well, because they, they can't be destroyed, but they can be bounced. Olulu Ao, two copies, it is really cute. When this card enters the field, choose a Dragon on your drop zone, and if you pay on gauge, if you do, put a Trojan card into your hand. So basically, when this card's called, you can add back your Dragon. Check out this nice one. It is the best, pun intended, from the favor text. So it's a picture of Yugar and Gaga. Oh, it looks so good. This is my favorite nice one right now. So pay on gauge, draw two cards. Pretty damn basic, pretty damn awesome. It's a timeless card from the beginning of Body Fight to now. Teachings of the Fighting Emperor. Put a top card of the deck for each DDT on a few into the gauge. So basically, very easy 3 gauge. And if a dragon on a few, draw one card. Try 3 gauge, draw one card. Sign me up. Two copies. Might be I might put 3 to 4 because of how good it is. God Magic TO40. 
So it's a counter ability. Either stand your Dragon on the field or for instance, give a Dragon plus one critical and penetrate. Guess who wants it the most? Give it to this and you basically have a quadruple three crit monster that has penetrate ability. Just penetrate through any more and destroy any deck. A pretty, pretty good card. It gives you extra stand as well, so you could actually just stand any of your Dragons for extra attacks. Warrior, this card is amazing because it destroys Amaterasu instantly. You may cast this card with three or more spells in the drop zone. Really easy since you cast spell all day, any day. So counter, return a card from your opponent's field to the hand. This is insane. I will play this in any Magic World deck because of how good it is. No gauge cost, you bounce back any card of opponent's field. Amaterasu with that bell which can't be destroyed, bounce it back in the swing for face. This card is insane. Two copies? No. Four copies, please. Yes. Alright, so we have Protect Magic, the brand new shield for Magic World. Now Magic World is a master of draw power, so as expect, there'll be probably some draw powers in the, the shields. You may only cast card your DDT on the field, put a spell from the drop zone to the bottom of the deck, really easy cost. Counter, nullify the attack and charge one gauge, gain one life and draw one card. This is insane. This brings Thunder Empire shield to shame, man. This is so good. So, Protect Magic. I love the art, it's a Frank Pan. The Frank Pan is the godliest defense mechanism in the world. Yeah according to Garbert. Great Spell Circle of DT Dragon is a set spell. All DDT on a few games was 1k attack power and 1k defense. At the start of a bonus turn, choose a spell in your drop zone and may discard one card if you do put a card in your hand. Wow! Guess what I'm gonna put back? I'm gonna either put back the Awesome Shield which gives me another plus or put back a Warrior to bounce back anything you can't be destroyed. I'm sorry. You may only set one but this card is so good because you can play it, you can splash it in any Magic World deck. You only can set one on field, so two copies is fine. Now let's go on to the weapon of the deck. Equip cost one gauge when you cast a spell for this turn. This card gains plus two additional crit and penetrate. So it's a three crit, penetrate, seven K attack power. It's, a pretty, it's not bad because I guess the seven K attack power and three crit can really smash some walls with his penetrate. So let's go on to the brand new impact which is Spiral Year Ignis. You may only cast this card with your opponent's four life or less and you have a drag up monster on a few. Put 3 spells on the drop zone onto the bottom of the deck and pay 2 gauge, deal 4 damage to your opponent. Wow, that's pretty easy. So as long as your opponent 4 life, it's basically 2 gauge for instant death because this is this is way too easy. Two, um, 3 spells and your opponent's dead. This damage cannot be reduced. So pretty good, uh, especially for a brand new impact for Gaga. And a brand new magic world flag with Yuga on it, really cool. Aditi's Dragon Legion is summoned Luminize Dramagi. So Dramagi is the name of the deck. So I hope you guys enjoy my product review on the awesome Impact Triple Punisher. Please leave a comment down below on which world you'd like to see me do and how to upgrade on. It's perfect for budget gamers and smash that like button if you want your video to be out 50 times faster. Till next time, peace out and love you guys. Rawr.